Hey, it's Jack uh, from CruiseCasinoMafia.com, and it's another edition of our Friday freebie systems or strategies. And uh, I did a YouTube short earlier, and I just did not get around to doing the video, and it's now about, uh, it's almost 8 o'clock at night. It's just been one of those crazy days, but this is a video that I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, it's something near and dear to me in regards to strategies or game theory or whatever you want to call it. What you're seeing on the screen is something that I've been working with for the last few months. So the purpose of this video is not only to introduce the concept to you, but it's to ask you guys for help. There's so many smart people that are on YouTube that play Baccarat and Roulette and are into casino gaming and casino gaming theory. So I'm introducing the concept to you now because I was completely shocked about as of about two, three weeks ago, there have been other channels that started to finally talk about what I'm going to present to you today. Unfortunately, most of them were not really shall we say open they were looking to sell apps for hundreds of dollars um basically that is going to be the same situation that i'm going to show you right now or at least the core idea of it we can do more videos on this but what i'm asking for is this i hope you guys understand this i hope you guys go to wizard of odds yourself and kind of play with it and test it and kind of beat it up a little bit because the hardest part of this concept is attaching the money management component. So even for us, we've done a huge amount of uh, lab stuff with this, simulations. Uh, I did, I played a system, this almost this exact system, things I'm going to show you, in Vegas about three, four weeks ago. So I'm going to basically unlock the concept for you. I'm going to throw a lot at you, and I'm hoping that people that watch the video will put in the comments below their thoughts. Um, so this is kind of a exercise to see if we can get more people involved in kind of working with us uh, to be able to figure out some of these things and toss out some ideas. So here we go. So this video is basically a basic premise video regarding the use of patterns in Baccarat. These same patterns exist, and you can do the same concept for roulette, but Baccarat lends itself, in my opinion, even more to be doing this type of research because we don't have the zeros. So when a tie comes up in Baccarat, uh, we don't lose anything. We just keep rolling on. So it works even better here. So let's talk about what you see on the screen. These are patterns, okay? This is not magic like some of these other channels are showing with counting cards and all kinds of mumbo jumbo that they can never explain why it should work or what the concept is. This is a math-based concept. So what you're seeing, if you want to take a picture of the screen, and, and uh, you can certainly go ahead and do that, I highly recommend it, is if you take five results in a row, and we do not count ties. So the ties do not count. These are the exact amount of patterns. These are the exact patterns. If you take uh, five results in a row and, and include them as almost like a set or a series, these are the only 32 patterns that can happen. Okay, let me explain that to you again. These are the only 32 possibilities of patterns that can happen with banker player okay so I'll introduce and show you the other types of patterns that you can look at this is a five result pattern and this is where this logic came from and this is where the story started a few months ago was my fascination with this with this pattern so you may ask yourself, what do these patterns mean? How do they work? So let's go ahead and, and just show you in an Excel spreadsheet. So let's take uh, this pattern here, 14. 
So let's go ahead and and um, let me see if I can open up a clean a clean spreadsheet. Okay. So let's take this pattern. Okay, this pattern. Hold on one second. That's not the pattern. Uh, P B B P B. Okay. So let's go ahead and take that. P B B P B. All right, and that's five. So this is what we're looking at right here. Okay, you guys see that, right? This is our pattern. So if we were to play this exact pattern right now, and I'll do it, I'll do it in the wizard. Okay, maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe that's an easier way of doing it. So we're gonna play P B B P B. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So the first one is P. We'll just do ten dollar bets. This is a brand new shoe. P, and we won, okay? So this pattern, we're looking for a single win, at least in the basic concept. So we would have won the first one and we'd be done, right? So let's take a look at another pattern. P, P, and three Bs, right? P, P, and three Bs. All right, so here we go again. So let's play this pattern. We're doing a P again, because that's what the pattern indicates. And we lost. Our second result is supposed to be a P. Forget about the dollar cost. We'll, we'll do a Martingale just for the hell of it. Okay. Second result, and we win. So we won one on this pattern. We won the second one on this pattern and we would continue on. So you may ask me, do we play multiple patterns? Yes. Can you play one or two patterns throughout the whole shoe? Yes. The answer is it doesn't really matter. Okay. Because the only thing that beats you, if we play this pattern, let me show you again. Here's the pattern. The only way you get beaten for all five results, what we call the death pattern, is the exact mirror opposite. And that would have to be this, B, B, P, P, P. This is the only way that this five bet pattern loses. All other of the patterns, all 31 of the other patterns, that's not the death pattern, you have to win at least once, right? The only way you lose all five is if it's the exact death pattern. So let's talk about the math. It's 32 to one, correct? Right? There's 32 patterns. The shoe already has its preset shuffle. So inside of that shoe is about 70 to 75 hands, correct? Well, out of those 70, let's just call it 70 hands, all right? There's 14 sets of five in 70 hands. That shoe either has the exact opposite of the pattern that you're playing at that moment, or it doesn't. Does that make sense? The shoe either has the exact opposite pattern, or it doesn't. If it doesn't have the exact opposite pattern, you will win all 14 sets of five. All 14 sets of five. All right? Does everybody understand that? If not, play the video back so that it triggers. So let's take a look right here. 14, well, let's do another one. 15 is PBBPP, -P -P, right? The exact opposite of that is number seven, right? Look at number seven, pattern seven, and look at pattern 15. Those are exact mirror opposites. So if we're playing 15, all the other patterns, we have to win at least once. 
there's only one pattern that can beat us and when I say beat us I'm saying that we didn't win one out of the five all right so now let me give you some real world numbers to go along with this I was in Vegas three weeks ago and I played this exact situation all right and what I did was I had a custom scorecard where I pre wrote in five of these I mean this five pattern this five pattern this five pattern and they weren't all exactly different I may have used the same pattern two or three times or maybe I used them twice maybe I used them once whatever it may be but I wrote down 14 patterns that were already preset before playing Baccarat in Vegas now here's the numbers I played 168 groups of five right 168 out of the 168 I actually hit the exact death pattern at the exact time when I was playing let's say 15 the casino hit number seven the death pattern okay I hit that three times out of 168 patterns pretty phenomenal pretty incredible all right so those are real world numbers now what we don't know is when we are going to have that death pattern emerge it happened to me over about 13 or 14 shoes okay that was 13 or 14 shoes using this scenario this bet selection all right that's real world numbers that's the true story all right now what I can tell you is that the death pattern can happen in the first shoe that you play it can happen in the 10th shoe that you play or it can be 20 shoes of profit before the death pattern happens we have no way of knowing what's in that shoe right that's the story there so the moral of the story of what I'm showing you is that the magic is in the math it's in the math what needs to be done to make this an incredible system right there's two components there's bet selection and there's money management what are you doing after the first loss what happens after the second loss after the third loss so this is the rest of the story as it stands today you can play this extremely aggressive what I did majority of the time did not feel comfortable to me I'm going to tell you that right now that doesn't mean it's good or bad I played a grand Martindale okay Martindale Martindale a grand Martindale and that was a one three seven fifteen thirty one okay so it's maximizing and pushing the limit right you're pushing the limit so when I won on the first bet I want a unit second time I want two units three units four units five units this translates if you're playing the five series like this it exactly translates into every winning shoe giving you 20 to 25 units of profit pretty pretty freaking amazing right 20 to 25 average units of profit and you're winning shoe after shoe it feels pretty amazing here's the other side of the coin you're winning 20 to 25 units in every shoe that you play when you finally hit the death pattern you're going to lose exactly this grand martindale martingale which is 57 units so if, if if you win two and a half to three shoes before the death spiral happens the opposite pattern happens you either break even or you're up a little bit of money which is fine so my frustration 
over the last six weeks or so is being able to reconfigure a money management plan in the lab for what would be more comfortable. Now you may say, if the death pattern only happens once in a while, why not maximize your amount of profit? And my answer to you is you may very, very well be right. I'm just not ready to come to that conclusion even after all the work that I've done. So my question to you, my first question to you is, what would you do in regards to money management now that you have this data that I've given you? Okay, what would you do? So let me throw out a couple of thoughts. You can try a Fibonacci sequence. You can try a ladder, which is one of my favorite money management tools, a one up, one down type of ladder. You can try, like you've seen on some of the other channels, a modified martingale. So you're only making money on the first three, and then after that it slows it up and it basically becomes a ladder, a martingale style ladder, right? Like you've seen other people play um, like Cheetos Baccarat and some of these other channels, uh, Mike the Gambling Guy. You see these guys using a modified slash martingale. All right, that's fine. The issue that I've had so far with trying those methods is that the beauty of this concept is math based, right? We're going to win every single series of five patterns because we only have to win once. The math works because the only way you lose all five is the death pattern. So when you start to do things that extend the betting sequence beyond the five results, it starts to feel a little bit like fitting a, a square thing into a round hole, okay? Does that mean it doesn't work? No, that's not what I'm saying. This is the reason I'm presenting this to you guys right now. For your thoughts on this, your evaluation, your testing, I am opening this up for other people's ideas and thoughts, all right? There are lots of different money management uh, options. With Casino, with Cruise Casino Mafia, we actually have a private booklet that we provide to all the members that has massive amounts of different options. Are they all potentially possibilities for this system? No. Some money management does not fit certain bet selections. So I'm confident that many of those don't work well with this. I'm opening the door publicly for you guys to put on your thinking caps and to test and to let me know what you think. Is the Grand Martingale the best concept because it's a five-step of Grand Martingale here? Is the 57 unit loss as optimized as you're gonna get? Because it's only gonna happen once every whatever, whenever the death pattern does occur? Or is there something better? That's the question that I pose to everybody out here to help us figure out. Now, I'm gonna throw another wrench into this. So there are 32 patterns when you're, when you're grouping these by five. Well, let me show you something else that's really interesting. So because this is math-based, let me do something here. These are the five patterns that we picked, right? I'm going to put another result on the end of this. I'm going to put another result on the end of this. I've now turned a five pattern into a six pattern. So when we look at these same possible results, but now we group them in results of six, instead of 32 patterns, 
you end up getting the multiple, which means that if you want to use a six pattern, there are 64 possibilities. Okay? Think about that. So now, in each shoe, they have to they have to have one of 64 pattern, a one out of 64 to be able to beat any six pattern that you play. So the odds are greater that you are not going to see the death pattern for an extended period of time. It's just math. It's just math. This is not counting cards and magical mystery numbers that tell you what to do. This is odds. This is statistics. This is math. Okay? So you say, okay, a six pattern. If we put six, there's 64 different patterns that you can get. All right? So let's extend this out just to show you the way the math works. All right? If you use a pattern of seven, there's 128 potential patterns. And we'll go one more. If you use a pattern of eight results, there's 256 different pattern variations, exactly 256. So the odds of them having the exact death pattern or one out of 256, all right? Now, there's more to determine than just the number of results you want in your pattern. There are multiple other things to think about. The biggest is what is the progression or money management that you would use? I've shown you the Grand Martingale that was used on the five pattern and it wasn't that comfortable for me for me personally all right that doesn't mean it's not the right patent the right money management i'm telling you it wasn't extremely comfortable for me what would you use if you stretch it to the six results now you need something that you're comfortable with going out six on does that feel more comfortable to use a modified martingale some type of ladder maybe maybe you need to try it out you need to test it you need to take a look at what i'm showing you because you need to do a serious amount of shoes on wizards or any other simulator to really get a feeling for what we've been doing here okay you cannot play this in one shoe and say it's a miracle it does feel like a miracle because you're winning every single pattern but that doesn't give you the full story Okay, you've got to play it and play it and play it, all right, or simulate it in some fashion. If you have predetermined uh, results, if you have that, that's fine. But you've got to get a real feeling for this before you can really think through the money management side of this type of a system. No app that magically gives you the patterns is giving you that information that you need to do manually to be able to understand the good the bad and the ugly all right so that's the deal now i believe that the sweet spot and this is just me is the six pattern i have played the five pattern in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shoes live and simulated all right it works I think I would go one step further to make the mirror happen even less so I had 168 to 3 when I was in Vegas right what would it have looked like if I did a six pattern would I have seen the death pattern in that many shoes or would I have never even seen the death pattern I don't know the answer to that question because there's no way I can tell you the only thing I can give you is odds and statistics, right? The problem still comes back to the same thing. What money management do you pair with this? Now, the other thing you may ask is, does it matter that you play multiple 
uh, of the pattern numbers or not? No, it probably doesn't. Did I enjoy putting the, the, the random patterns onto the spreadsheet before playing? Did it make me feel like I was part of the bet selection? Yeah, it did. I enjoyed it. I like it. All right. Is it forced? Do you have to do that? No. Can you pick four of these patterns and put all four of those patterns magically and randomly onto your custom scorecard? Yeah, you can do that. Do you want to pick two patterns out of the out of these, out of the 32 or the 64 and do that? Yeah, you can do that too. Will it probably make any type of an impact? No, because the math is the math. It doesn't matter, okay? Either the death pattern is already preset into the shuffle, into the shoe, or it's not. The fact of you playing multiple patterns really doesn't make an impact. That's what I've learned. So it doesn't hurt you and it doesn't help you. That's really my true, honest belief when it comes to that. So that's up to you. Let me give you the other wrinkle. The other wrinkle is that on those Vegas shoes that I just gave you, we waited and took free hands. Okay? So if you go back on the YouTube channel, you're going to see a few weeks ago that I did a demo of a Baccarat shoe. It was about 20 minutes, 25 minute video. I never showed anybody what I was doing. Well, guess what we were doing? We were using the five patterns, just like you see on the screen. You can go back and watch that video and you can see that I won every single pattern. Okay, looks like magic. Well, it's always gonna look like magic because I'm always gonna win until that Russian roulette you know, a uh, bullet in the chamber happens, which is the death pattern, All right? So go back and watch that video if you want to see the play and the way that it feels, all right? I believe on that video, I was still using the Grand Martingale, okay? You can see it happen. You can see it play out, all right? If you want to see it live, there it is, all right? So what we were doing at that point was that if we were playing this pattern and we won on result number one, we would take four free hands, okay? We would not bet. And now we would start pattern number two, which was this one or this one or this one, okay? We were not restarting the betting sequence or any new pattern until we let them go those free hands go. Is that the right thing? That's what we were doing. That's what our testing involved. I'm not so sure that I agree with that philosophy at this stage of the game. And I'm gonna tell you why, right or wrong. We, in my, in my, thought process after playing this much and testing this as much as I have is that letting those hands go, I'm not so sure that that accomplished anything, okay? Now you may ask yourself, well, what would you do now? Well, there's a couple of different things you can do. Let's say we win hand number one. We can take a free hand Okay, and then pick the pattern based on that free hand. Okay, now some of the apps and things that you're seeing on some of these other channels, they're looking for the result of the last two. That's possible. That's possible. So let's say that the last, let's say we won this hand and we took two free hands and we got BP. Okay. You can look for any hand or any pattern, I'm sorry, that starts with BP, right? And then you can follow that pattern. Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, right? And here's one, and here's one. So there's multiple hands that start with BP. And you can base 
your next pattern off of what had occurred in those last two, the, the two freebie hands. That's a possibility. Or you can merely start the next pattern instantly. There are pluses and minuses that probably occur due to that decision. One of the things, and I'm a big proponent of making less bets and being and getting to my profit target quicker. So you can make the argument that taking the free hands was not really doing much of anything. And either get, giving away one uh, free hand and jumping back in or doing two free hands and then evaluating the two free hands to jump into your next pattern, whatever that may mean, whatever that trigger is, may be the better way to go. Because if you're, if you're looking for 10 units or five units per shoe or whatever it may be that you're targeting, letting all those free hands go means that you're in the shoe for far longer. I'm not sure that we were getting any benefit from letting that many free hands go. So that's something that we're evaluating right now, okay? But again, whether you play the five pattern, the six pattern, the seven or the eight pattern, it still comes back to the number one concern, which is always money management and bet progression. So that's the story. This was not an exciting action pack video watching me play, but it may be one of the most important Baccarat concepts or videos that you've seen in the last six months. I hope that you understand the power of the math here, the power of the math that you can only lose when the exact death pattern happens and the power of my actual Vegas trip and the numbers I've given you. I hope that triggers everybody that's a hardcore Baccarat player or a math guy or a game theory guy to watch this video, to think about the money management tools that they have and all the options that are at our disposal and to think about what you think the optimal way of using patterns to beat the game of Baccarat on a consistent basis. Because that's what I wake up and I go to sleep with. We already have a tremendous amount of successful, consistent money-making systems as part of Cruise Casino Mafia's membership. I hope you visit the website cruisecasinomafia.com and I hope that I can include you in not only the successful systems that we have for all the games but I hope that we can include you in these type of discussions in the lab work in the fun stuff that we're doing that usually ends up with that light bulb moment that doesn't always come from me but comes from a thought or a concept from one of the other members. That's why I'm opening the door publicly and showing you these concepts. This is a money maker. This made me money. This makes me money right now, but I'm not comfortable that I have the absolute optimal way of playing this bet selection or the six or the seven pattern selection. I hope that this generates a tremendous amount of comments in the section below. And if you want to reach out to me privately with your thoughts, you can do that as well. And you can reach me at Cruise Casino Advisor, Cruise Casino Advisor at gmail.com. I'm open to any suggestions and thoughts that you may have. And I'm gonna add in another wrinkle. If you bring me a well laid out thought process that you would pair the five or the six pattern to in regards to a money management concept that you've tested, 
and you want to show me what your testing has shown and why you think it's the way to go, I will give you a free membership into cruisecasinomafia.com. Lifetime membership. So that's the contest part of this deal. Okay? Help me do the work. Show me why you think the five pattern, the six pattern, the seven pattern is the way to go. But show me what you pair it with. Show me what a total loss looks like. Show me what your stop loss is. Explain your logic to me, and you may get a free membership, a lifetime membership, into cruisecasinomafia.com. And that's worth way more than the time you're spending to have a ball working on this and giving us your input on what we're trying to solve. So with that, it's Friday night. You got the whole weekend. Go to work. Help us out. Let's work on the problem together. That's it. We'll see you on the next video. And you can stop this video at any time to be able to take a picture of the five pattern. And if you want to work on the six patterns, I don't have the, uh, the graph for the six pattern, but you can go to chat GPT or one of these uh, AIs and you can get all 64 patterns uh, for the six pattern results. Okay, so reach out, I'm available, use the comment section. Let's have an ongoing discussion publicly in the comment section. If you think you've worked out more than that, then go ahead and contact me by email. This is a great community on YouTube, the gambling community, the casino community. I know that at least one of you will come up with a thought process that we can test and really put through the ringer. That's all we're asking for. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.